Okay, on this last lesson, um, we're going to do a camera shake. And how I'm going to do that is I'm just going to add some keyframes to the to the driveway. And I'm just basically going to make that driveway look like it's being tromped on and, and going down and then back up when it hits, when the, whenever the mecha hits his foot to the ground. Okay, and so the first thing I want to do though is I want to do parenting again because there's going to be some things that are connected to the ground like the explosions or at least this explosion the other two they could be in the air so we could probably don't have to do that but the the bullets also because they're connected to the window so let's go ahead and do that one well, and down here at the very bottom is my driveway 13 driveway you can't see it that well um Let's see what else? Explosion. I think my explosion one. Right here. So that's going to go down to the driveway. And my bullets that, uh, that are on the, on, the, on the driveway. And we'll add 13 driveway. So all those are connected. So now I just need to, um, I'm going to animate my driveway. So now what I need to do is I'm going to look and see where that mecha each time his foot hits the ground, which is hard to do since my computer's memory is not doing too good right here. So there he hits the ground. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to back it up one frame. Let me open this up first so I can see my tr so I can see my position because I'm going to animate the position. So I'm going to go ahead and add a keyframe there right now. I'm going to back it up. So that's where he's off the ground. I'm going to move this keyframe right here back because that'll be holding, that's basically the ground level right there. So I'm going to move it one frame to where he hits. And what I'm going to do, let me back this up a little bit. So I'm going to select, make sure my driveway is selected. And I'm just going to, you could do it a different way. You can. You can drag, you can select with your selection tool and drag it down a little bit. I'm just going to hit my arrow keys and just hit downward like one, two, three, four, five times. But you could also select it and just drag it. So, about down there. And then you'll, unless you, unless you made your, your, uh, your file a little bit bigger, you can make it a little bit bigger if you wanted to. But since I got everything sitting exactly how I wanted to, I want this, I don't want to change anything, so I want I want to add that sky up in here. And there's a little trick you can do with that. And it's, um, we'll look it up, it's called, I believe, tile and motion tile. So let me add that motion tile to my driveway. And I want to do mirror edges. And, and I, I believe it's the, the height. Yes. So you can see it changes the height. So I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Probably like 130 probably would work. And you can kind of see if you look close. Let me grab my hand tool and you can kind of look and see where that seam right there is where it, it changes and it just is mirroring it. Okay. So now back to my keyframes. So I, I knocked it down about six frames right there. So now I want it to go back up to exactly where it was again. So I'm going to move it one frame over. And I'm just going to move it back into place. Okay. So when you get scrubbed through, it'll look like boom. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to select those three and I'm going to copy them. So edit, copy, and let me find the next, the next hit. And here comes his foot and right there. I'm going to move it over one frame because I, let me blow it up a little bit so you can see it. So I'm looking at this foot right here. So there's off and there's where it hits. Oh no, wait, maybe it's that one. Yeah, there, there it hits. So I'm gonna move it back one frame from there, right there. Then I'm gonna hit 
edit, paste, or control V. So bam. And watch the other foot. Move my timeline over here. Okay, here comes that other foot. Okay, there it hits. Move it back one frame. Right before it hits, we'll hit Command V, put those same same keyframes there. I think that might be it. Does he does he hit one more time? Yes he does. At the very end. So we'll just do a control V. I'm not even sure that'll show up. That might not work. Let's go ahead and do a quick preview. Do fit up to 100 percent and Hopefully this will work. <laughs> there you can see the shake. Is, is it going all the way through? No. I got got to change the work area. All right, let's see if I can go through the rest of it. A little bit slow. Sorry about the memory. Oh. One of them didn't show up. I must have missed one. Right there. Let's go ahead and Command V. Let's see if that worked. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Bam, bam. I think we missed that last one. Oh, we'll missed one right in here too. Probably about there. I would knock that out, but I'm just gonna do it real quick because I want to end this video. But there you see how it's done. And that's the end of the camera shake, and that's the end of this project. And we'll see you next time.